Okay, we're back with you guys. Getting started on our valve job. Okay, there you go. Got a valve job. Okay, guys, we're back at the uh, shop here. Gonna tweak our valve job. seats are extremely hard <laughs> the concentricity is not the best from the factory so we're gonna We're going to put a little bluing on our seat so we can get our final pattern. I can get coordinated to put it on there. A little shot of air to help dry that. Oops. This, this is just a light finishing stone. Okay, we're going to take our dividers, we're going to check our diameter. We're right on the money. Check our seat width. I don't know if you can... See if I can get that in there. There you go. Or fifty five thousandths. Okay, there you go. You can clearly see all of our three angles we just ground. We've got a top. Got a top cut up here, and I need to have my pointer, but 
in the middle we've got the seat and then we got the bottom the bottom cut and then of course there's if you remember from previous videos we put our previous uh, top cut when we blended and our additional angle we put down here angles it's got one there and there I would like done a radius valve job but we didn't really way these were machined we didn't really have anything to play with so if these heads ever get freshened up we'll go ahead and let's see if we can there you go you can see that little line up there on my thumbnail all the way around put some bluing on here just put some blue marks on there and we'll just put this back in here and we'll just kind of just oscillate a little bit about a little 15 degree twist there you go We've got exactly, we've got a half a degree interference angle. So, there you go. And uh, we'll do this last one off camera and then we'll switch over. We'll set up on intakes. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, guys. We got our last... See, you can see we put our bluing on there. We got a nice print. You can see the same pattern on the valve. Looking good. I'm going to get set up on these intakes and I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, we're back. We're on our exhaust. Oh, excuse me. We've got our exhaust done. We're on our intakes. I've got... Got our exhaust down, we'll do an intake. I know that looks like I'm taking off a lot, but I'm really not. I'm just barely touching it. That's a uh, 38 degree. Coming back in for 45. We went in there with our bottom cut, 60.
Okay. Check our final width. Kind of hard to say. You can see our seat pattern there. There you go. Then we're shooting for about 45, 45, 48 thousandths seat width. Let me get close up here. There you go. Looks real good. We these were accurate enough. We could have ran them just the way they were cut, but we're just uh, kind of taking them to the next level. I went back and retouched that first one. I raised it up just about five thousandths, but there you go. Immediate seating. No lapping or nothing required. Thanks for watching, guys. One head complete. Okay, we've already checked this off camera. Wayne has. And uh, we're back on the other side. We have... People say that you cannot machine a block and calculate the deck height. And I beg to differ. This block is in less than two thousandths or less all the way through. That just a smidge, a smidge above zero, like a half thousandth. Less. Less. So, there you have it. And so we, Wayne's already done this, so we know these three cylinders are about zero, close to zero. The back is uh, two thousandths. So that is our cumulative tolerance of our pistons, our rods, our crankshaft, the deck, and like Wayne said, and of course he was, and he's always, and and, yeah, and the oil clearance, and he's always being nice to me, but he says, I'll guarantee you the block is dead on and, and, and the difference, but, in, and I just told him, I said, so I'm, I'm, people probably throw me under the bus on this one, for, I think this is square, Good enough for an engine that would be a fifty or a hundred thousand dollar engine. Of course, this isn't that kind of a deal, but you can measure this stuff and get it right. It's your components. So in our particular case, we've got a scat crankshaft. We've got scat rods. We remachined the scat rods. We did all the clearance. Uh, we honed the pistons. They're JEs, inverted dome, or uh, whatever you want to call it, reverse deflector dome, inverted dome, dish. Uh, D cup, you can use whatever terminology, but there you have it. All of our pistons are in. Going to be our, we. So since we've got our idea what we need for uh, head gaskets, we just got the order in our comedic head gaskets. We're thank. 
we're thankful and grateful that we're going to get them. So we're uh, going to put 36 thousandths gaskets. So we're, it's kind of a toss up between 30 and 36. So that'll give us about 4 thousandths better CC over a 40 thousandths gasket. And that'll give us a, a little bit of increase in compression. So anyways, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.